today's tech tip, we're going to look at the features of the control panel on the iPhone. In order to access your control panel, just swipe up from the bottom. This opens up basically a curtain that gives you access to frequently used commands or features on the iPhone. On the first button is the picture of an airplane. That puts you in airplane mode. Well, that turns off both cellular and Wi-Fi signals. The button next to it forces Wi-Fi back on, so you can turn on and off Wi-Fi if you want to. The next button is for Bluetooth. This is for a short-range signal that is used for accessories like speakers or even maybe your car can access through Bluetooth. The next one, the one that's a picture of a moon, that's actually for Do Not Disturb, so that turns off all of your notifications that come in, texting, calls, etc. The last one is for Portrait Lock. And what that will do is it will keep your picture from rotating in your phone. So if you're on a web page or looking at an image and you don't want it to rotate, put on portrait lock and that will keep it in vertical mode. The next one is for brightness. You can just slide it up and down to change the brightness of your screen. If you turn your brightness down, that's a great way to conserve battery power. The next one is for music, so you can play and stop your music right from here. The next one below that is your speaker. You can turn your speaker volume up and down right there. The next two options might change depending on what you're connected to. Um, AirDrop is an option that's a feature by Apple that allows you to wirelessly share data files between devices without connecting to them. So you can just do it all wirelessly. It's a great feature. Um, the next one is for AirPlay, and that allows you to connect to another device, such as an Apple TV, to project what's on your phone onto a larger screen. The last four options are for flashlight, timer, calculator, and for quick access to the camera. I'm Francie Black with your tech tip today.